What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you two of the best stock scanners that you can build for free. So the two scanners that we're going to be going over in today's video, like I said, they're free. One of them is for a short squeeze scanner. Uh, we know that like GameStop and AMC and a lot of other stocks have really squeezed this year. And we're seeing a trend in 2021 where stocks that have uh, particularly high short floats tend to really pop up. So we have a screener for one short squeezes, but then we also have a screener to find some pretty high quality stocks at some good prices. So, you know, we're not talking about buying at the highs. We have a screener built where um, there are, we, where you can find pretty solid companies for same for some pretty good deals. So uh, either way, make sure to stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to be showing you how to build these scanners and how to make them. And I already have two of them built for you that you can copy and use right after today's video. But if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I post brand new videos every single day, but let's get right into the first scanner. So the first one, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to finviz.com. Uh, this is a pretty awesome tool. You can do a ton of things on this website. You can build screeners, look at a bunch of different popular stocks, and find a ton of great data. But the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to finviz.com, click on screener, then click on all right here, and then enter these parameters in. Uh, I have the price set for under $50. We have a short float, or float short, I should say, over 30%. This is the most important part of this scanner. You want stocks with a high float, uh, float short, um, and then you want the change up, and then you want the change from open up, and then you want the float under 20 million or under 20 million shares. Basically, what this scanner will do is it'll look through a ton of different stocks out there, thousands of different stocks. It'll find you all of the stocks that are priced under $50 a share that are up today relative to yesterday's close and up today from their opening price. And then the most important part is there is a very high short float on this stock. So there's a ton of uh, people or a ton of institutions or shares that are uh, short. And basically, if this stock starts to run up, the shorts will be forced to cover, making the stock explode. And then on top of that, the float in general is under 20 million, which is very small. So basically what that means is uh, this thing is very volatile. And if it does start to run up, the move will be exponential. So basically what you want to look for is here are my parameters. You can mess around with them a little bit if you want to. Um, but like if we look at like a couple of these setups, like if we click on like POSH, right? So if you just click on that tab, you can see the chart right here. We can see it's gotten beaten down. Shorts have been shorting it uh, pretty hard. And now it's starting to pop up. Today it is up. Where is it? Today it is up. Where is the data? Anyways, it's up a decent amount today. Let me pull it up over here. So POSH, we can see today it is up around a, around 11.9%. So it's really starting to pop. It's holding support pretty well at this level. And if we go back to Finviz, uh, we can see down in this area, we see the shares float. This shows the total supply on the open market, which is only 9.9 .9 million, which is very small. And we can see out of the entire float, 30% is short. So if we start to see this stock pop up, uh, one, obviously the price will increase, but then all of the institutions who are short this stock will be forced to cover and it'll make the move exponential. So uh, to give an example, we can see with, let's say we go to GameStop, right? If we go back throughout history, I remember it was trending up very nicely. It starts to go from like $12 to 20, right? Everyone's talking about it. And then it goes all the way up to 43 and everyone's like, wow, it went from $2 to 43 in a couple months. This is crazy. It's probably going to come back down, right? And there were a ton of institutions who were short this stock, right? And then it goes from 40 to 65. And then what happened is all of the institutions had to cover their shares and buy the stock, which made it go a very, very, uh, very, very high, you can say. It actually hit like a uh, $500 or something crazy like that. But the main reason I'm even talking about this is to kind of uh, give an example of how these types of setups work. So um, with setups that have high uh, short float percentages, like 30% with POSH, it'll be very hard for them to break out because there's a lot of selling pressure, you know? There are a lot of institutions selling all of these breakouts, making it hard for the stock to actually uptrend. 
But if it does break out, the move will be exponential just like GameStop and AMC. And I know that this, uh, the scenarios are a little bit different because GameStop and AMC had crazy high short floats, but the same concept still applies. So uh, feel free to check out this scanner and edit it however you want. This is how I like it, but feel free to mess around with it any way you want. Um, another cool trick I like to use on Finviz is clicking charts right here, and you can actually see all the chart setups. And, you know, if you like any setup better than uh, a different one, you know what I mean? Like, you can just see it all visualized right here. So, I hope this helped you. But now let's get into the pretty good, uh, it's kind of like, so the next scanner is for, like, beating down high-quality stocks that might be good for dip buys. So, the first thing I like to do is you want to go over to the screener tab again, then head over to the All button right here, then click Market Cap. I like to have it on a Large Plus. I also like the performance down 10% for the week. I like the second performance for today to be up. And I like the average volume to be over 400,000. What this will do is it'll find you uh, pretty large companies, you know, over a $10 billion valuation each one. And it'll show you stocks that got beaten down over the past week over 10% but now they're up. So what you can do is you can actually find some really good dip buying opportunities. If we go over to like, let's say we go over to, I don't know, we could just click on any random one. Let's say we click on COIN, right? This stock is down 10% on the week, but today it's up. This is a decent dip buying opportunity. If we go back to the screener again, we have Enphase, ENPH. This stock got demolished this week, but now it's starting to pop up a little bit. Today was up 0.84%. It was uh, today's close was better than yesterday's close. So uh, overall, it's a pretty good screener for dip buying. I really like to use this one. Uh, Peloton's another good example on this list. We can see it just got destroyed. Today it's up. And uh, another cool thing, you can head over to the charts tab right here and just see a visualization of all of the different setups like Coinbase, uh, uh, COIN, uh, Dash, DoorDash, sitting right at support right there. So I think this is a really solid uh, screener. One, because you know, you're not worried about buying at the highs or breakouts. Like you're, you're buying the dip and you're also buying the dip on high quality companies. Like most of these companies aren't going to go anywhere. You know, they're worth over $10 billion. Of course, anything can happen. But for the most part, these companies are uh, very high quality. They're established companies and you're buying them at support. And if they're already down 10% on the week, um, you're already getting a good discount. And then on top of that, the fact that you're scanning for today to be up, it shows that the buyers are starting to come back into the stock. So I really like this scanner. Feel free to use it however you like. Of course, you can always add to any of my scanners. Feel free to you know copy them and, and use them every day. It doesn't matter to me. And it's uh, Finviz is a pretty awesome tool as well. I'm not affiliated with them, but I've been using them since I started trading. And uh, they're just a great free, re uh, free great free resource. And they have a ton of um, just great uh, um, tools on their website and all that good stuff. I know you can like. Uh, scan for like insider buying and, and all that cool stuff. So I, I highly recommend Finviz. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I think they're a very useful tool. And I also like how a lot of the times they already have trend lines like drawn on the charts for you. Like you can just see all the data right here. You can see, you know, they already have technical analysis done for you and they have a ton of great data. So uh, feel free to check out Finviz. I hope these scanners helped you guys. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and please consider subscribing. I post brand new videos every single day, and it would really help me out if you could subscribe or at least hit that like button and leave a comment down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.